Good morning from Data Center World in 2023. I'm Stephen Hill, and with me today is a representative of Verta, which is an American, Ohio-based provider of equipment and services for data centers. Today, Vertiv offers a substantial lineup of technology that spans nearly every facet of the data center environment for power distribution, infrastructure cooling, cable management, racking, device management, and containment that spans everything from the network closet to the cloud and beyond, and mission critical applications of any size. And, and welcome today is Greg Stover, who's a global director of high tech development at Vertiv. Welcome. Steve, good to see you. Nice to talk to you, sir. So, uh, tell us about what you do. All right, so, interesting title, Global Director of High Tech Development. The short version of that is, is I'm meeting with the disruptors that are developing technologies that might affect our infrastructure environments. And that's the OEMs, that's the chip guys, and we've learned to kind of got to follow it all the way back to the chip. And right. What we've learned is TDPs are going up and power requirements are changing as a result, cooling requirements are changing as a result. So how do we get ahead of that curve and actually make sure we enable the world to accept these new technologies? And that's that's the fun job I have now. Right, and this has been going on for a while. I mean, you look at the power of the, the systems that are showing up. Racks used to be five kilowatts, are now 50 kilowatts, and going upwards. Yeah, so the, the exponential it, growth. And it's not just about powering them, it's about cooling all of that, right. because people don't always realize that from a data center perspective, energy in equals heat out on almost a one-to-one -one ratio. Yeah. All day, every day. Every day, so you, you, when you're talking about some of the new systems, if you say 50 kilowatts, it's like 50 hair dryers blowing at you all the time. Right. So um, we're, we're talking about something interesting today. There's a new trend in data center construction. It's about it's modularity, prefab. And the challenge of dealing with uh, construction, most data centers were bespoke construction, uh, but now we're talking about the ability of being able to build prefabricated modules that are uh, far more standardized and, and can really simplify and speed up the manufacturing process or the construction process. Tell me about what you're doing in terms of, of Prefabrication. So we've been in a modular prefabricated space for quite a while, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it was pretty niche kind of solution at the time. Uh, but we're finding the applications today, given all that's going on in the world with supply chain and um, latency issues, and compute having to be closer to the consumers right. of that product. That there's there's a significant market for rapidly deployable, prefabricated, factory tested um, solutions to go out in the marketplace and. You know, whereas in the beginning, I think we were fairly custom and we building what everybody wants, and we still do a lot of customization. You know, now we're at the point because of the scale and the demand for modular solutions that we're actually building, you know, reference designs and best practices and trying to create standardized models that can be customized based on individual customers' needs. And, and we're seeing it in a couple of different uh, environments. We're, we're having complete, totally turnkey, all-in-one data centers. It's a complete infrastructure. You know, it, it's, it, it's, the, it's the housing for the, the equipment, it's the cooling for the equipment, it's the power for the equipment, it's the remote management, the security, everything in a box. You deploy it onto a slab or into a warehouse. Um, you, have, you connect the power, you pick, connect the cooling, and, and you're off and running. And the other trend that we're seeing is modular and skidded power and cooling solutions, where ah, you, right. or even the large stick-built facilities, there's significant value to being able to have those fabricated and tested, put together um, by us in our factories, by our people made to work together. Um, and, and when we do that, they can become much, much more efficient. Um, right. And you have the issue of labor. Labor's been a big issue, especially during the sole supply chain and this explosive growth. You know, if, if my customers, our customers don't have to go out and hire teams to come build stick-built facilities, and don't get me wrong, Stick bill's not going away. Those no. are our customers. We love them. It's not going to be either or. It's going to be an and. Right. Right. I mean, you know, we can augment where I need capacity quickly. We can augment where I moved everything to the cloud, but now it's starting to repatriate back, as Bill Clement said in his keynote. A lot right. coming back for a variety of reasons, and it's not the cloud. It's not going to continue to grow. Everything's growing. Right. But we're finding out what applications need to be where and what that means to the marketplace, and it's going to be a hybrid world. You're going to have equipment in the, in the cloud. You're going to have equipment at the Colo. You have Colos getting into the modular space because they see the value of this whole hub and spoke thing. Right. Um, you're going to have people that at enterprises that maybe they don't have purpose built facilities, but they need to bring in equipment that won't really fit in any space they have. We can drop this in a parking lot and, and turn them up and they've and, got a world class mission critical facility. And again, that's the interesting thing because a data center is really a complex environment when you start looking at it. When you talk about the power of the cooling, the security that's yep. necessary to keep it running.